So this is another video in my on and off series about the Feiyu Pocket 3 handheld gyro camera. And I've already uh, done a video that shows the problem with the audio quality on these. So I have decided after some discussion with their support department, uh, where their support department has basically ad admitted to me like that they know it's uh, inferior quality components. And I doubt they're ever going to come out with an ability to use an external microphone of any kind. I'm going to attempt to hack modify the handle piece of my Pocket 3. So I'm going to put the camera here, the iPhone, as an overhead to give you a view of what I'm working on. And let's get started. So in order to do this and know if it works, the first thing we need to do is have a, uh, a benchmark to go by. And the best way I could come up with to do that is on this old iPhone here, I recorded a video with audio. I'm gonna put the audio at about halfway. Let me show you that. And I'm gonna place this over here with the top of the phone at the edge of the mat. I'm gonna power this camera on and I'm gonna put it with the uh, back part of the tripod, leg of the tripod against the outside edge on the left here. And we're gonna turn this around. Now remember, this is going to use the microphone on the bottom of the handle because I have the two attached. And this is the part I'm gonna be working on in my hack modification. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit record here and play here, and that'll be our benchmark audio quality. Once I'm done with my modification, we'll do the same process, and then we'll compare the audio levels from the two uh, before and after to see if I did anything that helped. So let's get this started. I'm going to hit record and here I'm going to hit play. This is just a test video for audio use only. This will give us a base point to see the difference in comparison before and after the modification I do. All right, now we've set our benchmark. Now we're going to detach the camera, take the tripod leg off. It appears to me we have six screws to deal with. There are two silver ones here. These appear to be a T4 Torx. These two here and the two on the bottom appear to be a T5 Torx. And I also have uh, a few small pieces of tape sitting here that are white because I'm on a black surface and at least four of these screws are black. I don't want to lose them, so I'll be putting the screws there in the order I take them off, in the position I take them off, and that way I don't lose any screws. We're also hoping that this whole device doesn't just fall apart on us. Um, I understand. I am, you know, most assuredly voiding my warranty on this but I can't hold out hope that Feutech is gonna care to uh, provide me the access to an external mic. And I don't think they have a way, um, or I don't think they care to find a way remotely to, uh, or via firmware, to upgrade the audio quality of this thing. What I'm going to be doing on this, and I should explain, my plan is to open up this hole on the front of the cover here, make it bigger, and hope that that allows more audio into the condenser mic that's inside of there. So now we have to figure out how this thing opens up, if it's glued or what. I have a couple of devices here used for repairing uh, phones.
Okay. A little edge started and it looks like maybe right here is a clip. There's a little bit of a slot there I can see. Aha, I was correct. So once you start at this back corner, you can get the case to separate. You get something in there to wedge that, and then you can find it about halfway here, or a little under halfway, uh, you can find that spot. And I'm guessing I did not have to take these top two screws out. I thought it was one piece here. And because I can see there is a separation there, um, I'm going to go ahead and put those two screws back in and hopefully avoid any problems. All right. Keep in mind, too, you're dealing with a battery inside of here as well, which is probably taped in. We do have a, a clip here to the USB, a little... Uh, should be able to pop that loose. There, just like on cell phones, the little thing there. Now I see one, two, three Phillips screws, tiny little Phillips screws. I need to get at the front side of this, right below, right on the other side of that antenna. We can snap that antenna off of there. Again, just very gently with the edge of a pry tool, plastic, especially because I haven't disconnected the battery here. And now we need a small Phillips bit. Got the power button. We've got the USB port, but it doesn't look like it goes into the plastic housing at all. Now we need to determine if there are any other. There is one more screw. I just found it right here. There's a little spot right here that we should be able to gently pry up and release that PC board. But again, we just have to be very gentle in our removal technique. We don't want to break anything. We don't know what's on the other side of the board. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Made some progress. Just got to make sure. Okay, we got some stickiness going on. Okay, and then behind there, we have our LCD screen mounted internally it looks like uh in a in a box so that probably accesses the lcd screen area um down here is my little condenser mic right behind this thing here little rubber pad right here i want to be gentle with okay i need to check something and that hole, there is no, I don't know where the microphone is on this. I'm not sure. There's nothing that connects that hole. Wow, is that interesting. Usually there's a small condenser microphone, like a small little plastic thing that connects. I am not sure where that would be on this. Normally you'd have a little device here. It would have been in this little rubber buffer. There's got to just be something tiny on this board that I'm not seeing. I, I truly do not know. But I know that my goal was to make that hole just a tiny bit bigger. I'm going to line it up. Drilled it out just a bit. Reversing my steps, I want to try to shove this little thing back in the spot. I 
That was easy. There's a little piece tab on here that has to go into that red circle there. I need to get my antenna wire so it won't get cut by snapping this in. Okay, now we reattach our antenna wire. Okay, now let's put some screws back in there. We don't have any extra pieces, that's a good sign. Now we have to connect the USB port. These are always a trick for me to get them lined up just right, and I'm always afraid I'm gonna end up bending pins on cell phones anyways, especially iPhones, it's a real pain. That went together really smooth. Now we'll flip our battery back over and attempt to snap this thing back in place. Aha, just like that. There we go. That's a good click, I think. And our next step before we do our test of audio is, does the camera still function? Hey, that's a good sign to start with. Make sure our mode button works. Triple tap, flipped it around. Zoom works. Back it out, that still works. All right, place it right here. We're gonna start recording. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording here. Hit play again. I haven't touched the audio levels or anything. That thing's still been awake the whole time. So here we go, this is our after modification test. Recording started. This is just a test video for audio use only. This will give us a base point to see the difference in comparison before and after the modification I do. Okay, now we have to go to the computer download those audio clips, and you decide, I'll probably give you my feedback as well. All right, I'm recording this on the Feiyu Pocket 3 after the project. Sadly, I'm here to report, I don't think that made even the slightest difference. After I got done editing the whole video here, which I apologize that it uh, didn't solve the problem for any of us Feiyu Pocket 3 owners, Sorry to waste your time if you watch the whole video, but at least now you know it. You know, if you come across this idea, uh, it's probably not worth the effort and risk involved. But yeah, I thought maybe my base point uh, benchmarking there wasn't a fair test because of the audio quality that iPhone gives out on its own. So I did a little bit of playing around and recorded a few videos of talking at different volumes and played them back on my computer and it's just as tinny and quiet as it was before I enlarged that microphone hole. Honestly, I still am baffled by the uh, technology in there a little bit. Like normally there would be a very small little microphone module uh, either directly soldered to the board or with the same kind of wire that the uh, antenna wire has, the same kind of snap-ons or something. And it just doesn't have that. So I'm not exactly sure where the audio input source is in the internals of this thing. Uh, if I get a chance, I may open it up again and take a look around and try to figure that out. And maybe, maybe putting a new hole somewhere else will make the difference. So uh, if I do that, I promise I'll make another video and keep you all updated as to the status of this trying to make this camera be a better device for my use and I'm sure for pretty much everybody else's use. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like we all have to find a way to have a secondary audio source and keep our fingers crossed that Feutech will figure out some way we can attach an external audio source. Anyway, 
thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you uh, don't put yourself through the same process unnecessarily with your camera. Thanks.